Hello everybody and welcome back to another Magic Gathering Arena video. Today uh, a new set has dropped so we are playing with some new cards. So I did a couple of drafts, I did one sealed and we've opened a few new cards uh, so we're going to give them a go. So I'm just going to make a little pile of the new cards over here, uh, the new rares at least, this one, this one, this one, look at this. We're, we are, this is like a play test deck. I'm not saying this deck is going to be good. I'm saying we're going to test which of these cards um, are decent. And obviously you will have noticed by now the deck is Selesnia. So we're going to see if Selesnia can be good in the new set. So let me just run through these cards. Our theme for the deck is put counters on things. Now this is a bit of a theme um, throughout the new set. So let's just run through. Dusk Legion Duelist. Now, in fairness, I only opened two of these, but I am calling that this card is going to be a mainstay in the set. So I have crafted two more. I've used some of my precious rare wild cards and got some Dusk Legion Duelist to play with for the play set. Um, what does this do? It's a 2 2 vampire soldier for two. That's why I think it's going to be good. It's a soldier. Soldiers is already a good deck. Uh, it has vigilance, and whenever one or more 1 1 counters are put on Dusk Legion Duelist, draw a card. This triggers only once each turn. Now, obviously, we have a very well-known soldier in the Siege Veteran that puts 1-1 one, one counters on creatures every turn. So if you get these two down and they're not interrupted, you are just literally getting a card and growing your creature every single turn for, for no more than a two-card combo, which is often enough to win you the game. Uh, we are running... I'll come back to this one. We're running the Ozolith the Shattered Spire. So there was an Ozolith, which is a one-costing green legendary spell, um, which didn't do that well when it was out. The reason being it didn't... It was legendary and there was no way of getting rid of spare copies. This one I'm glad to see has cycling too, so we can run as many or as little of these as we want. The reason we're running two is I only opened two. If one or more 1 1 counters would be put on an artifact or creature you control, that many plus 1 1 1 counters are put on it instead. So you get, if we would put one counter on a creature with a siege veteran, we put two, etc. Now notice this triggers as many times as we like in a turn, and for two, we can put a 1 1 counter on target artifact or creature we control, activate only as a sorcery. So that is really putting two counters on for two mana, which is pretty darn good. Doom Scar Warrior is a rare. It's a four costing human warrior, 4 3 with backup one. So just to go through backup, when this creature enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. If that's another if that's another creature, put a well, one we'll on target creature. If that's another creature, don't get that bit. It also gains the abilities printed below this one until end of turn. So, if you play Doom Skull Warrior with no other creatures down, it's going to be a five four trample. But if you can, you can give one one. Uh, to something else and for one that turn give it trample and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player or battle look at that many cards from the top of your library you may reveal a creature or land card from among them put it into your hands so this is kind of Zeotora's envoy-esque um not quite it's actually better than that but it's a four costing five four trample with some extra like abilities the nice thing about this is the backup puts a counter on something so if we're running the dusk legion duelist we put an extra counter on it with this it's going to be a three three we can then make it a four four on turn four it's going to draw us cards <laughs> it's going to be drawing us cards again so there's a nice little sort of put counters and draw cards synergy between these things we're running two copies of the boon bringer valkyrie which is a five costing four four angel warrior Flying First Strike Lifelink, and it has backup one. In other words, it can give one of our creatures Flying First Strike and Lifelink and a 1-1 one, one counter when it comes into the battlefield. What's nice about this is it's a 5 costing creature that is doing something the turn it comes in, even though it doesn't have haste. So, for example, let's say that the board is building up, we have a Dusk Legion Duelist or a Siege Veteran down, we then play this, we can give it Flying and Lifelink and First Strike and sail it over the top of our opponent's stuff, as well as then having a, fir a Flying First Strike Lifelinker left for us the next turn. So, you know, it's, uh, this backup mechanic seems pretty nice. And these two cards at the bottom, we're mostly running because we've got them, not because they fit amazingly in the deck. Our deck is relatively low curve, apart from these. I don't think adding high curve things are going to help, but just to run through these cards. Foreign Clex, 5 costing, 6-6, six, six, Trample Reach, Legendary Phyrexian Praise. So when it ends the battlefield, search your library for two forest cards. Not loads of synergy with the deck, but the backside of Foreign Clex, we can pay 8 and as a sorcery transform it into the Grand Evolution when we've milled 10 cards and put up to 2 creature cards from among the milled cards onto the battlefield. Well, re sort of filling our deck, refilling our battlefield could be nice. Distribute 7 1 1 counters among any number of type creatures we control. Put in counters, so there's a mild synergy there. And then number 3 is until end of turn creature you control, get pay 1. This creature fights type creature you don't control, then you get Voranclex back. 
It doesn't fit amazingly in this deck, but we're going to try it just as a bit of a weird top end. This one fits a little bit better. So this is Surak and Goreclaw. It's a 6 costing 6-5 six, Trample Legendary Creature Human Bear. Uh, other creatures you control have Trample. That can be helpful. I was originally considering running Kodama in this deck for the same reason, and Kodama would probably be better than this, to be honest. But... Um, because we want to try out the new cards, whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on it against haste until end of turn. So obviously sticking counters on our stuff is nice, synergizes well with Ozilea, synergizes well with the Duelist, uh, synergizes very well with the Brawler, oh, which is another new card. I just didn't cover it because it wasn't a rare. In fact, let me make a little pile of the non-rare new cards here. Um, yeah, it, it's a top end though, it's very expensive and it feels a little bit out of place in this deck. To go through the other new cards, the Botanical Brawler is kind of the powerhouse of this deck. Uh, and I did craft these because uncommon wild cards are worth nothing. Uh, this is a 2 costing 0 0 elemental warrior with trample, but it enters the battlefield with 2 1 1 counts on it. So it's a 2 2 for 2 with trample. Whenever one or more 1 1 counters are put on another permanent you control, if it's the first time 1 1 counters have been put on that permanent this turn, put a 1 1 counter on Botanical Brawler. So just to break that down, this is a 2-2. If we have a Siege Veteran down and we use it to put a counter on something else, including the Siege Veteran itself, this will grow by one. If we have another way of putting a counter on something and we put one on our Duelist, this will grow by another one. So this can grow many times in one turn, but only once for each other creature you have. Note that if you have a Botanical Brawler down and you play another Botanical Brawler, you are putting two counters on it, uh, and thus this will grow. So this is a pretty nice set of four of in a deck. I'm then running 4 of Elspeth Smite. This is a 1 costing instant. It does 3 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. The reason I'm playing this is, as you will probably see on the video, uh, there's a lot of mono red floating around. Every time Wizards releases a new set, a lot of players for some reason just resort back to their instincts and play mono red without any new cards in it. I think it's just a desperate grasp to climb whilst they know that everyone else is experimenting. So to deal with Mono Red, we've got this very nice new card that we're going to trial out. Um, the fact that Exile stuff is good as well. There are some new cards that have some good like Graveyard Synergies around. So this could be very handy. Uh, the old cards that we're playing, these two Planeswalkers, I won't go through them. They put counters on things. This one has some removal. Siege Veteran is literally a staple for this deck. And then we're running three March of Otherworldly Light. The reason for this is it's more removal, but also if Smite is not good for some reason, I you were trying to get rid of. Um, a shell drill or something, you know, we can use this to, to exile this to make our marches better. So this is like, because we're running this, we're running this one as our removal. And then three hopeful initiates, because it like has a function that automatically puts 1-1 one, one counters on itself, um, which is nice, paired with Brawler. This into this will be a very nice turn one, turn two. Um, and also it gives us something to do with our spare counters if we need to deal with artifacts and enchantments. 25 lands in the deck, um, because our curve isn't that low. It is 2.5, so it's on the verge of a 24-25 card deck. Let's test out these cards and see how we get on. All right, here we go. New cards. Ooh, this is expensive, man. But this, all of our deck is cheaper, so we're going to get it. I believe this is technically a 3-drop. That is something. Black-white, what do we think? Phyrexians? Yeah... Skrill's Hive. Okay, let's just get rid of the Hive, shall we? Might as well do something with our turn three. Then we can go banging down with the uh, the Warrior. Wandering Emperor, I mean, not the Warrior. Warrior, we want something else first. So if we play the Emperor, we'll have something to back up onto. Give me three. Whenever a friction you control dies, surveil one. So we'll pass. And, uh, this turns into a three three if they pay two. I'm still I don't know how good this incubate mechanic is. It seems alright. That's a Phyrexian, yep. Yeah. So we can go with this. You can create a little dude. Don't know what room. Oh, this is what's holding priority. That's pretty good too. But I think this time we're going to go with the warrior. 
I love that when it comes in, it gives the effect to this. So they have to deal with this because they don't want the effect. But then they also um, they don't want to leave the thing that has the effect around permanently. This backup mechanic seems sweet to me. So we're in for four, and we get to look at the top four. Okay, we need land, so we will take land. So this becomes a 3-3, three, three. not an issue, we've got our 4-4, four, four, which they could obviously remove. <laughs> oh, I just love new cards so much. So much fun. What about Frexing Dice of Veil 1? That's quite cool. That was quite cool. Can't wait to get the jewelers down. Hellish Norm. My vet a source and opponent does damage to you. Or a permanent you control. Source loses two life unless they pay one. Man, we are just gonna get rid of that. Because that is not what we want. Hello? What can you possibly do with the purple rank? Ah, convoke them all to kill that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We could exile the Vran. Maybe we should. Since they tapped it. A nice little bonus on the Wandering Emperor there. fun stuff in our hand. This is the exact kind of matchup we want though. Creatures like Slobber Knocker. Put a 1-1 counter on it. When it dies, incubate X where X is its power. So we have 6. Yeah, we have 6. So we could do a 2 and a 4. So let's drop this. And we will back up on our creature. Five. I think we probably want to give it first strike. Make it hard to block for them. It's got trample. Although putting the counter on here would have drawn us a card, but this is just vicious. Six six vigilance first strike trample. That then let's just look at six. Let's take the brawler. Uh, maybe we play the broader. It's going to get bigger quicker and it's got trample. This is a good early game card advantage. This is better for finishing, I would say. Especially with these cards in hand. We can give one of these things flying. Yeah. So, where are sources? Combat damage. Not yet. Just any damage. That's also just controller. Loses two life unless they pay one. You can sacrifice a creature. Except like artifact or creature and opponent controls. Yeah, gets rid of the six six. Very understandable. We'll just give this flying and one one from this. That'll be a six, six power flyer. So we'll block like this. Make sure we got the Wandering Emperor. That incubates for them. Yeah, that's fine. Surveil is fine. We, 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 we win, I think. So if we do this, we can grant this flying. Do this. Give it. Double first strike. Win. Profit. These new cards look decent, man. That was fun. That was fun. Let's try again, though.
Okay. Is this the same person? No, different person. Okay. So, got our anti mono red tech in the smite. And we've got the uh, anti control tech. Then a brawler and a duelist. So, we need something to put counters on stuff, but that is what the rest of our deck does. So, we'll try it. Just as a refresher, this basically does soul partition on something in their hand, and then we get this. Uh, nice enchantment if we ever flip it. Mono black is good for us, I think. Botanical brawler times two, okay. Yeah, spend that mana now, nice and early. So we can smite you into exile as well, just in case, eh? So, let's put one of these. They can have cutdowns. Not that anyone's running cutdown at the moment, right? It's too boring. These work well in multiples, I suppose, because um, if this will put counter on this. Yeah, that's pretty nice. If they try and flip this, we could exile it, but I don't think it's worth worth it. We can exile it later, because it would cost us a card from our hand. Okay, mm, creatures down. Uh, let's do the invasion then. See what else they've got along those lines. Sheldred. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a non. <laughs> yeah, okay. And. This they can obviously make a sack our duelist. Let's get rid of Sheldon, I think. So they could do the Gix's command, bring back the curtains. Yeah. Still not the most value that you can get out of that. We just have to hope to stop top decking uh, lands. Yeah, curtains. Yeah, try and transform. We get rid of them in response. It's pretty good. Get some lands out of our library. Hope they don't draw a land and play Sheldred. Then we can flip our invasion. They bloody did draw a land. What are the odds? Definitely less than 50%. Ah, oh, come on. If they flip that to a saga, then we can destroy it. since we have Besiege you. They'll definitely hit us with it first, but they may flip that. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Just going to hit us to death. We just got unlucky. One more turn and we would have been alive. One more turn. Oh well. Let's try again. Alright. Let's, uh, that mono black matchup was interesting. Well, not mono black, black white. It's like a controlling, yeah, quite tough, quite tough. White again. Got a couple of smites. So let's hope our opponents on creatures. No invasion of Gobba Khan. So that's what we're doing too. At least we've got a two drop, no matter which one they take. I mean, they could just take Sarak and Gorkor, get it out of the game, or they could not. Come on, dude. This isn't that hard. I guess these are all new cards, so they got to read them. <laughs> yeah. They're all new cards, and they've all got absolute walls of text on them. Although these two are virtually the same. These two are the same.
That was our opponent's dial up cutting out. Okay. Brawler in. Which I assume they have removal for, but we'll see. Steel Seraph. I mean, the Elspeth Smite's pretty nice against the Seraph, gotta say. Uh, yeah, we can attack. They know we got the Smite. <laughs> We've got Trample, so we'd connect even if they block. This is a three. Hold open our mana. Start refilling our hand. I'll protect this battle with my life. More steel seraphs. I see the tactic. Get this battle down on turn one, then try and fight through it with the seraphs. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, we don't need more land, thanks. Um, do we just pass? Do we play this? No, we've got no creatures. Could play this, but then they get this battle. Yeah, we don't need to give them that. We can hold. We're still gaining value. <laughs> I love it. More and more steel seraphs. Where are my naturalizers when I need them? Okay, uh, I think we'll take. That I was going to say we'll play this, but now that we've now that we've pulled the emperor, we'll play that. Give them all vigilance and attack. Is that what you're going to do? Seriously? No. Lifelink, lifelink, lifelink. Ossification to take out Ajani. Okay. Now we can uh, get some actual value going, shall we? Remember your training. Guess we'll take another brawler. Thank you very much. We've had to play this quite cagey with the triple seraph, but. I think we're pulling ahead. Yeah. They can take it, take out this battle or Wandering Emperor at any time, but they're not willing to lose half their board. So... Do we play this? Okay, we will do a siege veteran. These Elspeth Smites, I love it. If they hadn't known they were there, they would have just run in, smashed through, but it's <laughs> really holding them at bay. Maybe they've got a wandering emperor now and they can finally attack. Is that what they've been waiting for? No, oh. no. So this gives our creature haste. Okay. Maybe we should have played the Oslith. 
bit of counter on it, draw a guard, play that land, play this one, put a counter on it, draw a guard. And then we'll give one of you give wait, hold on. Should have played this a long while back because these are all getting counters put on them. Whoops. But we'll now put a one one here. Everything that's got trample and haste so we can go. Obviously, Wandering Emperor will exile something. Probably Serac and Gorklaw. Nope. And then we just smash them into the floor with smites. All of our stuff has trampled, so that's not gonna save you. Oof. That was a decent. Our opponent got a bit landscape, but they also had the wonderful start with the battle into the angels. So you can see why they kept it, but good win for us. Alright. Here we go. This is decent. Slam straight in with the initiate. We've got a turn three and a turn four, and t two drops is our most common thing. So we've got tons of them we can draw. So we didn't, but never mind. Um, Esper. What? Well, I don't even know what the new cards are, so I can't say if Esper's good or bad these days. Rob's bad. Esper's always bad for creature decks, right? Rona, Herald of Invasion. And if you cast a legendary spell, untap Rona, Herald of Invasion. Draw a card and discard a card, pay six, transform into a 5 5 trample, though whenever it's dealt damage, we exile a card from my hand at random. It's a lamp. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. This is a legendary human wizard. This card is sick. That it's a 1 3 as well for 2. Withdraw a card, discard a card. Yeesh. Denic into this. So this is just Esper Legends, like refreshed. You can tap it and then, yeah. Interesting. Attacking, I guess, for the Rafine trigger. At least we've got a good block for that. Um, so the veteran should go through. Yeah. So then we draw. We'll take another veteran, I guess. Yeah. Yay, yay, creatures versus creatures. I wonder what else is in this new Legends deck. Tap land is good. The slower the better, please. So they've got a Legend to play. So what else have we got? Adelines, Rafines. I guess it's so nice because you can just farm out all your Legends. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Ooh, getting brave. It's gonna be a race. Thalia's gone. I don't see them getting much trample with this deck, so maybe we'll be okay. Could have saved that, but I think we need it in this particular case. Let's 
So, let's get one on here. One on here. Swing. If I only put them on 14, which they might be willing to go to. No, they are not. I would jump this thing there. It's the thing that gets me more creatures. I can give another one of our creatures trample now. Because the backup does, if it's a creature against it, it's printed below this one. Trample being an ability. So we can jump with this duelist. We don't need it to win. this one. Yeah, in fact, this is a soldier, so we do get two soldiers back. Will they attack? I guess not. So we'll definitely want a smite. So, let's just think. So they've got, they can eat one thing. So if we put one counter here, they can't eat this. We should probably... None of these are enchantments, no. So we should do this. It's just what do we put it on? The initiate, because then this will be 6, 5, yeah. 5, 6, I mean, then 6, 7. So that means neither of these will get eaten. Then we could put one more on this. Whereas if we spread them, so hold on, we swing with everything, but six things to swing with. We just need to make, yeah, we just need to get an average through, I suppose. We just have to go with the average tactic. Like so. This way we just swing team and win. I was thinking about trying to keep things alive, but we, we have no need for that rubbish. Yeah. Sweet. I like that deck though. We're going to give Esper Legends a go, but came through that one. All right, let's do it. Some more mythic play. It's weird playing at mythic when no one knows what they're doing because there's new cards. Well, we've got some early stuff that's going to see us through. So, especially against this, this is why we've got these in there. So the smite and the march should both do us proud here. So I think we'll march it off just in case they got two shocks and then this would survive a smite. Doesn't survive that though. Because smite takes out everything the red have got, including those, which is very nice. Don't think we want to spend two lives, so we'll leave them with their phoenix for now. Invasion of Regatha, four damage from the target battle or opponent. One damage to a creature. That's quite cool. That's quite fun. I like that. Exiled. And then we'll put a Jani. Try and get some value. Get rid of that. Don't need more land. We've got enough to even get Elspeth down. Four damage to battle or opponent. Doesn't do Planeswalkers. Siege Veteran is interesting, but maybe we'll go with this, a minus. Hmm, Duelist. Shield counter, so it should stay alive. Long enough for us to draw some cards off of it. use yeah a spell on the duelist then we'll be fine with that but they more importantly don't want us to be able to give life link to the duelist I think let's 
So, Demon Scar. One, one on this. Draw. Wandering Emperor's very nice. Should we plus? Yeah, we'll just plus for now. Uh, how much have we got? Six. So if we hit to seven, we can play. Okay, this is actually worth having. Why can't I done? Is this a bug? I can only put this on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> you can't Ajani to the top anymore, it seems. And we will take this one. As he is our perfect anti-red tech. Still on 14 life, so I'm confident. What are you flashing back? A lightning strike? Take out the Doom Scar Warrior. Or the Jewelers. Yeah, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Uh, I guess we'll block. It's not too late to join us. And uh, we'll minus this, I think. <laughs> yeah, that was way too much. Way too much. Oh, those those smites and marches against the mono red. Looks like that's my favourite bit of deck design in this deck. Okay, AJ Smile. We're back up to 98. This could be the one to climb for us. It's decent. We've got two of our legend, but it, he cycles. Legends that cycle are nice. Uh, invasion of Gobba Khan. Don't know if this is right in the deck, but we're trialing it, and we're, well, we might not get a chance. Since they get to discard something for us, the invasion will probably go. Could take the march, I suppose. Depends what they care about. Hmm. What are you thinking? One of those. They must have more discard spells, I would imagine. Yeah, okay. Uh. Hmm. Gonna just cost two more, so let's get rid of that. Basically, take it out of the game. We, work, we kind of want a Jani because hard for them to get rid of and it gives us value. Oddly, our one copy of could be doing the work for us here. They choose what to get rid of. I think I would choose a Jani. Because now we can just keep plussing, get value. Every day, more rally to our glorious cause. Yeah. Um. This is an interesting one. Do we care about Ozolith? Probably. Let's track the march. Definitely don't want that. And then we can Emperor, which they know, but that's fine. You know I have a Wandering Emperor in my hand. So you must have a counter? No, you don't. Do you have a Destroy for my 2-2? I probably wanted to do that before I blocked of it, but oh well. No. Every day, all rally to our glorious cause. Guards, to me. 
activate only as a sorcery, but it does put two counters on. Two counters for two mana. That's where we're glad we got rid of the Invoke Despair when we did. Okay, and we have to get rid of the Wandering. Plus we've got more of them. Okay, flashback the Edict, get rid of the other Planeswalker. Very nice, very nice. Or could get rid of the creature, I suppose. But the Planeswalker makes more sense. Oh. it is. Interesting that they would give us the chance to pull that. So we would quite like uh, quite like this light shield array. Creatures you control again, Hexproof and Intrux, but sadly not you. So you need eight to transform this and we've got seven. Sad that they got rid of the Valkyrie. Still two off casting this, which is nice. Sweet. Join us. Is this when it yeah, player or battle. Nice. So we can kill this. Look at the top eight. Let's take a duelist. Hoo -hoo. That's not going to be pleasant for you. Nope. Nice. Nice that someone's tried to do something interesting, but we did have to put them in their place. Okay. Crystal Core 01. I was just thinking how quick the queue is going, and I've realised it's because I'm not playing uh, Alchemy. <laughs> Standard queue is so fast. I mean, and it's new cards, so everyone logs on and wants to play with new cards. But uh, hmm. Got to be this into this, hasn't it? That's the dream. Okay, okay. Um, we would like a creature down. If they have cut down again, though, it will be sad. Alright, at least we stopped them drawing. We can get rid of Bank Buster. everyone playing with me. I mean this one's just sheltered in their old deck I suppose. But. So do we play this? And then let's get rid of this. While we while they don't have the card advantage. And then we can hopefully get some back with this. God's sake. Ay, ay, ay. We can't get some back now. Got no creatures to back up. Gotta play this first, because we need something to back up. Might as well hold on to this for now. Unfortunately, I feel like there's probably more removal coming our way. This is as mono black as the beating of us. G 
GG. Couldn't get through the black. We were playing four of our smites against this underdog as well, which would have been sweet. Maybe I shouldn't have ditched the second thing just to kill the bank buster, but that was a tough one. Mono black's tough. Okay. I think mono black against the creature deck is always going to be tough if we don't find one of our planeswalkers because that is what gives us stability against those. And we're not running loads. We're only running three. Yeah, three. Oh, Magic the Gathering has crashed. The good old post patch crash. Does it like we're against soldiers? So just wait one second and we will uh, get back to beating the soldiers. Soldiers will be an interesting one because we have got quite good interaction, but you know, we're playing on the draw, so we've got to try and develop our board as well. So obviously we just pass turn one with our smite. It'd be nice to exile the frontliner. Get rid of that. Then we go duelist, and if it lives, we go veteran. If it doesn't, then we play the other duelist. Maybe. Maybe we play veteran anyway. Yeah, we're not blocking and they know it. This is the new soldier, so they're probably running it themselves. I wonder if this is a counter. Seemed a little bit stuck. Hmm. Could be a counter spell, couldn't it? Let's play the other one of these. Yeah, look, it's a bit sticky. Could just be messing with me, but. A little bit sticky there, opponent. Ah, it's because of reinforcements. Okay. Um. I actually think it's worth getting rid of this and board wiping them in on this case. Because we can't let soldiers build up. My rail. whatever. Uh, it's a bit of a pain. But one more land and we can get rid of it. Okay, we've got a wild one expensive creature, which could be bad in the deck. Oh, come on. How many soldiers you got in your hand to vomit out? I'm going to say no. It's not a white card or a land, but we still have a chance of drawing one. Okay, I think we have to get rid of my rel, so we'll do it now while we can. Can't let them get another six soldiers. Obviously, if they've got a harbin in hand, we're in trouble anyway. God. Smite isn't that useful here. That's not that's not an enchantment. That's not an artifact or enchantment, sadly. Tempt them to block with my rel. Or everything else. At least they don't get all the soldiers then. Okay, we'll leave that at the back. We'll play this since we're trying to work towards Goreclaw. Wonder if we should trade the warrior for my rel. <coughs> Probably. Otherwise it's endless sword, so we can't get rid of warrior plus this. 
we don't have any removal for it, so I think it's our only option. Now we're semi-stable? Very semi, but... Uh, what I can do is play that out. Put a 1-1 one, one here and pass. I mean, we can exile this again. So we're only taking four. Come on, where's my land? Whenever you don't want lands, you'll endlessly get them. Uh, that's interesting. We can kill off an artifact or enchantment, can't we? No. We've got very good ground blockers, but Denik will kill us eventually. Mm. Quicker than eventually if that's around. Hmm. What, what is going on here, deck? Five lands in nineteen? What has what's going on? I don't get it. Should we start attacking? See, so we'll be dead on the swing back if we do that. Five, we're dead anyway. <laughs> well, we're not dead, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we are dead. No. Yeah, we'd be dead if they saw or anything, because one of these one ones would go through. Come on, soldiers. How are we not being soldiers? Look, now it comes, taking the piss. So close. <laughs> close, but no cigar. Alright. See if we can get ourselves another win. Buying 7, 4, 7, 200. I'd like to be on the play, please. But no, at least we've got some cheap cards. Maybe we'll be against Mono Red. That would be nice. Give me mono red. Come on, Boeing. Planes aren't slow, you shouldn't be slow. You're letting your namesake down. See what you got. Green, blue, Simic. Simic could be a good, cool one to play. Oh no, Bant, even cooler. This person knows what is up. So, we're going to play this on three, so let's play this on two. Well, like, we'd rather this gets countered anyway. Impulse, Bant, Control. Yuck. We don't like control around here. Stomper. Fine, for now. For now. Until it gets big enough to wreck my face. Let's hope they haven't got depopulate or equivalent. Whatever the one that exiles all creatures is. Because we can nearly win next turn. No, they have got it. Foreign Clex is cool there. Well, we just play this as is. I don't like doing this, but it becomes a 5 4 trample. It's a good enough threat in the, for the short term. Because it can refuel us, yeah, they want to get rid of that. Um, guess we'll just try the veteran. Oh, 
Would have been nice if we could have played Vorin clicks there. Really put the pressure on. The fact that this is a 5 costing card gives you 2 lands of 6-6 six, six trample reach. Yeah, so that thing's legit. Which hopefully means they won't want to be too um, board wipey now. And even if they are, we've got our Boring Clocks in our back pocket. And if they board wipe, uh, we haven't got any other soldiers, sadly. Warrior Warlock. Uh, here comes the board wipe. They're going to attack. No. Okay, well, next turn. Could attack, make this a 5-5. Five, five. That would just get chumped, but... We're going to do it. Can we kind of smite the stomper? Don't need to. What that means is board wiping coming, boys. I guess they know they're going to find one of Deluge anyway, but at least we're dragging it out of them. But a hook or by a crook. Maybe a farewell this time for good measure. White Sun's Twilight will do it. Why didn't I get my little invasions against this deck? Can't run tons of them because um, they're not so good against aggro, but this is the deck it's supposed to be good against. We can give this flying first strike life link and plus one. Four seven. We just died to these things, didn't we? Let's just see what else their deck had in it. <sighs> they could wipe the board again anyway. Ouch. Board wipe tribal against us. The only way we win is with the uh, invasion early on. All right. TSL. I want to go first, please. <laughs> one time. One time. We seem to have won all of our early games. So we were going first. Now we're going second. We're getting. We're getting beaten. Hello, TSL. So, yeah. To Esper Legends. Love a bit of Esper Legends. Botanical Brawler, baby. You don't touch my Brawler, leave him out of this. I mean, at least we have something to get rid of that. You know, it would give them back their scroll, but... What is this Legends Lockdown version? Yeah, that's a thing that can happen. And this is also a thing that can happen, getting no land. So, we have to do this. I guess we're going to get rid of the Valkyrie, because we might need the other one of these. And we'll get rid of Sheldred. So Initiate and Brawl are under there. It's not that great. Not to mention that they get their own Skrelv back. Ah, now they've got another one. Hello, Skrelv. Um... Let's just attack. We do need another land at some point soon. Just 
but we can wait a turn. Could cycle this and try and get an extra chance, but we're not in any immediate threat. We've still got this. Yeah, that's okay as well. It's a good value, but. Right, you give me a fucking land. <laughs> Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh, you absolute prick. What a dickhead. I wish I could get rid of their lockdown in response and kill both their things. I mean, we could do it. It will cost us both of these. thing is they would just keep the unattacking Skrelv <laughs> so we'd only really kill this which is meh compared to like what could be an endless card value engine in this where, where are my lands though seriously what is going on here I guess the march is an option to... Okay. Get rid of the Sheldred. But they've got Skrelv to protect it now, so... Oh, finally, we get the land when it's no longer as good to us. Giving it Trample and 1-1 one, one isn't that helpful anymore. The Flying will be helpful. And lifelink. Yikes. Please don't have a counter as well. We can't, we can't minus on his things because they can just protect them, but we can just draw and kill one. Show them how we greet our enemies. Oh, come on. That was, that was insulting. We're basically in a lock here, can't we gotta to to kill the scroll first? Which then leaves us dead. Okay, this deck's not as good as I thought it was. <laughs> we won so many at the start, and now all we've done is lose. Let's have a look. Okay everyone, let's have a quick look at the stats. Here is the deck. So 20 matches. We only saw about 10 on the video. Uh 45% win rate. So is Selesnia now good? I'm not sure. I tried to look how many different versions, six versions of this deck. I was messing about because there's loads of new cards. Um, I did like the addition of the Elspeth Smite. I think if I was playing white decks, I'd play more of this, uh, especially paired with the March, so you can throw them away later. But the problem is we're losing to red. Well, we were losing to red. We didn't, like, since I changed the deck, we've done okay against red in the video, but, but earlier I was losing to red, so that's why we did all these changes. So many people, but look, look at this. Out of our 20 games, nine games against mono red. This shows what people do when a new set comes out. They just play mono red and try and, try and rank up. <laughs> and then mono black, yeah, whatever. So, I mean, against anything new and exciting, we were fairly even. Against, like, a monocolor aggro, we're struggling. And I think that's what makes this deck not viable at the moment. Now, am I saying these cards aren't viable? No. I'm sure there's a better combination of these cards. I am brand new to these cards like everyone else. So, um, it was more to test them out. Uh, the ones that seemed really good, I mean, Dusk Legion Duelist seems like an absolute beast. I think this in the in a low-curve uh, so soldier's shell with Siege Veteran will probably be amazing. This card, I'm not that impressed with. I think if you're 
in a sort of routine of putting counters on stuff in this deck anyway, then you're probably already winning. I mean, maybe in a grindy matchup, this is a sideboard, but this was better. I like this, yeah. And this one, yeah, I mean, this. I mean, we probably don't want the expensive stuff in here. This plus, um, plus uh, Vorinclex maybe aren't great for the deck, but I just wanted to try them out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my first deck with the new set. Going to try and play some more limited, unlock some more cards so we can actually try and play some more interesting uh, or more successful things over the coming weeks. Appreciate everyone who has watched through to this point. I will see you next time. Bye for now.